I get a lot of people that take a look at a solar watering unit and they are complex and yet they're not. So to set up, they actually come with everything that you need. You have your battery, your solar panel, your pump, and all your wiring up to 80 feet or 100 feet, depending on what you're looking for. So you actually have your entire watering system. All the wiring's done right down to the two wires. You literally just plug them in. So if you've hooked up a stereo system, this will be easy in comparison. It comes with your float, which is also ready to be hooked up, and your pump. This pump, there's three different, uh, the smaller units come with two different pumps. Based on about 85 watts or lower, you're looking at a 12 volt pump. Anything above 85 watts, you're looking at a 24 volt pump, okay? Depending on how many feet, and that's where the next portion of this comes from. The most complex, so it's easy to set up, literally it comes like this, you unplug it, you put it in the water. The complex portion of this is when you take a look at how each piece functions together. The two biggest things would be the actual lift for where does the top of the water, where is the top of the water and vertically how many feet is that to where you actually want to put your water trough. That vertical distance is the most important part. If you get that wrong, this pump may not work, your entire system may not work. It's not the horizontal distance we're concerned with, it's the vertical. So guys that estimate sometimes can spend a lot more money for something that they didn't really need, or they spend a bunch of money and it doesn't work. So what we wanna make sure is your distance is correct. The next most important part is how many cow-calf pairs is there that you're actually servicing. If that number is incorrect, again, you're either going to spend a lot more money or end up with a system that you spend a lot of money for that doesn't work for you. Now, how we deal with that is we either give you a bigger pump or we give you a bigger solar panel. Now, we can put five of these with this pump. You're only going to get a certain amount of water that comes out of it. These 12 volt systems will only lift 14 feet vertically. So if someone doesn't let you know that and you're looking at 16 feet, you're going to be really frustrated and spend a bunch of money. There's no way to tack on more power to make that pump work any better. <coughs> However, if we get you a better pump, then the simple solution would be then just to tack on another solar panel depending on what you're looking for. The pump is really where you're looking for the expertise and who you're buying it from because if you end up, there's two models of large pumps. If you purchase one model, it'll actually suck a well dry and burn out your pump and burn out your entire system. So it needs to pump that water at a certain rate and get that lift, but it also has to do so slowly so your, your actual well can recover. As if you buy a different pump that might work great for a dugout where you have lots of water and there's no way it's gonna suck it dry, you can pump at a higher velocity. So all those things are really important questions that when you go to somebody to purchase these, they should be asking you that. The fastest way to kill that pump, and anybody who set up a fish tank for their kids knows, as soon as a pump runs out of water, it's done. It's toast. It's like instant, you can smell it, it's toast. So we want to make sure that this always has water, and an important part of that is making sure you have the right pump for the water source that you're looking for. We have so many different options. We even have options in terms of if you guys have a borehole that's four inches, we can buy the pump for that. It does cost you a little bit more but we know that you've either saved the money drilling the well or you saved the money on the pump. So there's many, many different options. They're actually, like I said, they're not complex once they get in your hands. We have portable units that you can tow, tow behind vehicles. So everything comes like this. You literally pull this out and set it up within five minutes and you're done. And then you can put it all together and tow it to the next place that you're dropping your cattle off. We have the box units that you can set up anywhere that you need to. Like you can see here, it's really easy setup. Um, the only thing that's heavy in it is the battery, which I took out for this demonstration because I don't want to lift the battery. But um, they are not a complex thing to hook up. But making sure you have the right pump is really, really important. And I cannot stress that enough because you don't want to spend a bunch of money and be really frustrated. So I think that's it. Is there any questions? No? Perfect. Thank you.